Hi, today I want to show you how you can use functions in Toddle. And functions are very cool because they allow you to do real-time calculations on the canvas of everything happening on the front end. So let's build a little thing. Let's actually do something very cool. Let's add like a div block that will be like our center. And let's add an input. And let's add like a heading right in here. Let's go to the div and let's make sure it's all white from the text so we can actually see it. Uh, let's make this white. Here we go. I have that H2. I want to make sure that that H2 is white as well. And here we go. And oops, for some reason that H2 is hidden. Oops, what's going on here? <laughs> let's make sure that it's outside. Here we go. So we got that in here. And what we want to do, I want to be able to type something in here. And I want, for example, let's actually zoom in a little bit. I want to type something in here, right? I want to type boom. And the count of the items, the count of the characters in here should be represented in here. Now, the way we, we are approaching those things in Toddle, if we, for example, say we have an input or we have a value and I want to modify it to kind of like get the count of it to then display a number in here, we can use functions for that. So first of all, since we have an input there, we can't access that input right now, right? Like if I input something that is invisible to us. So I need to click outside of the canvas on the page and I just uh, create a new variable here called uh, input, for example, called input. Here we go. We have input. Boom. It's empty. And now I go on that input field and I bind it to the input variable. So now when I input no code pro code dot com. Here you go. It's going to my variable is going to say no code pro code dot com. That is very cool. But now how many characters does no code pro code dot com have? I don't know. So what I can do is I can go in this heading, double click and in the text field, I just delete this and go on FX. Those are the custom functions. So now we just want to delete those here, right? I go on plus I click again and I go to my input variable. That's our starting point. And now I have that variable. And now if I click on plus again, I can filter that variable, right? And we have all those different filters here that are no code, but we want to look for the size filter, right? We want to look for size. Those are JavaScript filters, by the way, in case that is important for you, we can actually also just type size. And if we type size, it's going to give us the size. So now we have the side size of the input. Now we want to make this look a little bit nicer. So I can go on the div and I can uh, make this go to the side and I can add some gaps. That's where you add the gaps. You add one rem. Here you go. So now as I update those things, it's going to update in real time. Look at that. And it's fully reactive. It works in real time. If I type one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12 and, and so on because like that that's a character so don't get confused by that but it is fully reactive and i can show that and this is how we can filter data and illustrate data in total um, and this is kind of like the gateway to everything because once you know how to do that you can do more advanced calculations for example right now what we could do too is we could for example um add a button in here, right? Add a button. And for example, we want to disable that button or, you know, we, we just want to change the class or the opacity of that button if the length is greater than zero. So that, you know, the user knows I can only submit it when, uh, when, you know, like that form is like it, it's properly filled out. So I can go on that button and I can go on attributes and I add a style attribute. I go to FX and I'm going to go again. Oops, where did I go? Oh, I clicked the wrong. I clicked somewhere where I shouldn't click. I go to the button. I go to the attribute. The attributes are like, you know, the style attributes here that will influence the style. I'm going to make if I want to add an if statement in here and I can now go on the plus and base this on the input. 
right? Now the input is empty. So I can go to size. Now I have the size is zero. And I want to turn this now into a true or false because right now it just says zero. So I'm going to do greater than because we have this is, is this an empty string? The size of that because it's empty is zero. And then I do is it greater than zero? It's false. It's not greater than zero, right? And if it's not greater than zero, if this is false, we want to go with the else, right? Because this will be if it's true, it will do this. If it's false, it will do this. If else, I want to do opa opacity colon 0 0.5. And now it's going to be like, it looks like it's disabled. I copy that same thing. So boom, I copy that above here. And then I make it one. So now when I go in here, and I start typing, it's going to be shown, it's going to be highlighted if I type. And if I remove any input, it's going to be disabled. It looks like it's disabled. You can then also conditionally add like a disabled attribute or use the same logic to prevent the form from submitting in the actions. But this is how you can do that. And if you want this now to fade in, you just simply go to trans, oh, not to transform, boom, no. We, you go to transition and you just simply go and do property all and we can do like 300 and do, we can do ease in out. So now, as you can see, when I start typing, it's it's fading. Be look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. How beautiful this looks. Look at that. Beautiful. And I can now do that. And you know, I can then of course have to style it a little bit. I just make the height 100% here. Or actually, let's do this auto. And now they are like on one level. And then, you know, I want to make sure that they're a little bit closer together. I maybe also want to make sure that they're a similar color, color scheme. So I can go in here and make it a little bit lighter. So it stands out. You know, I can, uh, I can make the text like a little bit smaller, I can make like 14, right. And I can then, uh, you know, keep it like that, that looks better. And I can like input the remove the placeholder, I can go on placeholder and just make it empty. So there's no placeholder. And now on the live side, it looks beautiful. Look at that. And it starts fading in as I have an input greater than zero, it can be greater than five, it can be greater than anything. But this is really not just showing us how to do specifically this. This is a great example to show how to do anything where you have to look if a data set is any specific type in total to do something. It also shows you how to add nice UI animations in there to make the experience a little bit smoother. And you can use those things with those functions on the front end to kind of like guard the user from doing things it's not he's not or she's not supposed to do. And then you process the big parts on the back end because that's just where the back end is the best at. So thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. And if you want to learn more about Toddle and you want more resources, more courses, more videos that go in depth and daily office hours, five days a week, I would highly, um, you know, I would highly recommend you to look into nocodeprocode.com. Uh, the link is right here. <laughs> it's nocodeprocode.com. And this is my membership. And I would love to see you join. I would love to see you in our daily office hours. And this is really to help you, uh, you know, overcome roadblocks way faster. And uh, I made my best to make the price as affordable as I could. And we have daily office hours and beautiful templates coming all the time. And you get all the resources, um, you know, to overcome roadblocks faster and to get your product, your project out there faster in total. So I would love uh, if you join, but I also love if you continue just watching the YouTube videos, uh, feel free to do what works best for you. And regardless of that, I'm just thankful that you watch that videos that you spent your time watching me showcase those things, showcase these tools, um, tell you how to do those things and how to make them look nice and have beautiful fade in animations like this. Just thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. 
I really appreciate all of you. Um, and yeah, thank you for everything. And I wish you a wonderful rest of your day and see you tomorrow.